second. Can you call him up there to come get this car? Well, She's first of all, too. first of all, the person who the car is registered to ain't what the thing, the little paper you gave me, that ain't the name that signs on it. On the paper you gave me. The car I bought this car from, I mean, the person I bought this car from by these guys in the house, and this is like the third or fourth car in Boston. Hey, it's not a big deal, okay? citizen filming you, Jeff. Fun, Mr. Walker. Mr. Walker, what is your concern today? I'm, I'm concerned. I'm a state representative. Mm -hmm. I'm happens to be in my district. Okay. I don't have to state anything else. But I'm, I'm, I'm Well, concerned. I'm being polite and just engaging in your conversation. But so I, I don't need to I, be rude. But I'm not, you don't have to be, but I'm, I'm here just as an observer. Oh, I this understand. happened to me, by the way. I, I, I observed some policemen in Pine Bluff mm -hmm. arresting a few black boys the other, uh, 10 years ago. You pull up the case, Walker versus Pine Bluff. Mm -hmm. And they arrested me for just watching. Oh, I, I'm not going to, you have total right to do exactly what you're doing. Do you, do you understand the circumstances of our stop? I don't stop? know, I don't know. I just want to see it. But five cops for one man? No. Well, actually, what, five cops for one man. Well, what's going on is both the young officers that you see over there are in training. And That's there's right. only four of us if you if you count us. There's only four. Well, there were five. No, there's only been four. Both, that law both, me, and, both me and this officer are training. All right. They're in training. So we ride double. That's fine. Or there'd just be two of us. All right. Now, in this particular stop, this gentleman was pulled over because he doesn't have tags on his car. Okay? So a quick check to see why he hasn't tagged his car led to a warrant that he has for his arrest. That's why he's in that car. He's been treated with nothing but respect from the get-go. I'm not questioning that. I see, I see, I see the traffic thing is stopped or at least impeded in a way. But it's not necessary. Well, if you, read, if you read the traffic laws, that's an emergency vehicle. But it, it, so it's it, allowed to park like that. Yeah, I'm not saying that. But, I'm but saying you're a lawyer, so you no, probably knew no, that I, already. I understand that. But all I'm saying is it's, it's not a real, real big deal. Well, it appears there, to be. First, there's, there, no, it's every time every time multiple people arrest a black man now, and, I, and I'm around, I'm going to take pictures of it. Sure. I am, because, I mean, there have been too many killings. The killings on 12th Street, 
the killings on Ashley Avenue. Mr. Walker, have, have, have you ever have you ever been a police officer? It doesn't matter about No, it does matter. I've been arrested. Uh, you, listen, I, you can the you can answer the question or not. I, I don't care. But the day the day until you walk listen, until you walk a mile in the shoes of a police officer, you have no idea what goes on. I know. I have no idea what goes on. You don't need to care. You're the type of person that goes ahead and tries to exploit this to where where it causes chaos and nothing like nothing like that. You just try to you're a you're a race baiter is what you are. Okay. You told me whatever you I'm just telling you like it is, Mr. Walker. How can it be? How can that be a race? Because you perpetuate the situation. No, no. Situation. You try to, you try to, you try to catch you, officers you're, you're up not, short when they're not having any problems. You're not, not, not going to provoke me today. I'm not, pro I'm well, not trying to provoke you. Provoke you're the, you're the one that's out here trying to provoke no, no, police no, officers, and it's not going to happen either. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Now, how, what have I done to try to provoke you? You sat there filming that. I'm asking you. And this is not the first time you've done that. You've done this. You've done this ever since I've been down here. I started in '94. You've been doing this since ever since then. We passed the law. Okay. One law that I passed in the legislature was that we could record everything. I don't care if you record, but you're doing it to provoke. You're doing it to provoke. But that's because you're a race baiter, sir. Let me, you this. No, Let me no, ask you this. Let me ask you this. I didn't ask you. I didn't you invite stop, you over, would you I didn't have invite you over here. Would you I have would stopped have, today and videoed had this been a, a young white male? I don't know. That's right. Because all Thank I you. know is that I stopped. Stop. That's all I needed to hear. That's all I needed. That's all I needed to hear. You're only here to you're only here to cause trouble. So you 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 are welcome. You are welcome to sit here and film all you want to. We're done. We're done. Come on. But look, I didn't know who was in that car. We didn't know the race. It's not necessary. No, you you can say that. We didn't know the race of the person driving the car. Look. Okay, and you can say look or, or you did know or whatever you want. It's a simple report. fact. Create you can't report. you can't look through a, a window and, and with a darkened window and see look, who man. who is in the vehicle. Okay, you okay? arrest people in this area. It's it's a it's a 50 50 shot. Boom. Than anything else. All you do is try to no. provoke people. Okay, no. that's but all I'll you tell do. You what, if you need our assistance, you give us a call. We'll be there. All means, if you need help, call us. We'll help. We'll be there anytime you need our help. See the doctor today, please. Refills medication. What's his warrant for? FDA. Mm. What's your name? You're killing me, man. Because I don't want to take you to jail. I want to get you to that doctor's appointment. Uh, hey, hey, uh, yes. Which is which is more important? Yes. Call <laughs> one to see if uh, he can be cited out on this uh, warrant. What'd you miss court for? What, what'd you go to court for that you didn't go back for? Because it's a fair to appear. I don't know. All we know is it's a, a fair to appear one. That's all we know. You've never been arrested, ever, ever, ever. Did you get a ticket? Did you get a traffic ticket? I mean, I remember I got a ticket somebody didn't How long ago was that? Because on something like this, I, I'd rather get you to your doctor's appointment than put you in jail. See, see what I'm saying? We're, we're finding out. Okay. Is that your wheelchair? Okay. Are you able to walk at all? No.
than some criminal. I can care less. You know, that's what's wrong with this country is we let we allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. If I can't find my citation book, I know Holly's got hers, but what am I supposed to do if I can't find it? We'll deal with it. Okay. We're still on it. What did she say? Uh, yeah, she'll take him to the doctor for me. We can work it out? Yeah. house if he trim back some of them trees. Mm -hmm. That's my house. Is it? Then take her. What? Is that a bird sitting on the top of that peak? Sure is, isn't it? Walking <laughs> bird. Good Lord, who are you talking to? You're checking the warrants now. Did you call front? Did you call 110's desk? Did you call communicate? Call. Uh, one two. What? That's why it's taking so damn long. You gotta go to the straight to the straight to the store. Straight to the store, because they'll be the ones to tell you. I can or can't. If you can or can't. Can you explain to you what we're trying to do? If it's just a traffic ticket warrant, we're trying to get him to his doctor's appointment. Instead of messing with the warrant, we have to find out. Whether or not it's sizable. Do what now? He got his doctor's appointment rescheduled. Oh, it's rescheduled. Okay. Well, if we can cite you out anyway, that would that'll keep you from going. This is probably all they'll do anyway. Hmm? Probably all they'll do anyway. Yeah. It's just all depends. Oh, 
work with the bell. I'm assuming it's over the traffic ticket that you might have gotten. But you've never been you've never been arrested for anything criminal ever? No, I can't even drive. That's why I'm like, ah. Well, and you know people do do that. You wouldn't be the first one that they they do that with. And I was trying to tell him he needs to call down there if that's the case and be like, hey. You said a long time ago they'd get a thumbprint on the tickets, but now we do everything electronically. And a lot of times you don't even have to sign anything. We just give you your copy, and our copy's already gone to the court. So when people would come in here and go, hey, that's not me, there'd be a thumbprint on the ticket. Well, then we just match your thumbprint with that thumbprint. If it matched, it's you. If it doesn't match, yeah, you're telling the truth, that thing. But, yeah, we don't do that anymore, so it's kind of hard. Have you ever in your entire life had a traffic ticket? Never. Never. Are you are you paralyzed? Is that it? From the waist down? How long how long have you been like that? Ten? Were you in an accident? Got shot. Well, and that'll look good. That'll look good for you because if it was in that time period, obviously you're not driving. I know, as a, as so a, as a, as a, you can walk in there and say, you can, "Yeah, I understand." You can walk in there and go, hey, "Judge, really, honestly?" <laughs> you know, okay. let's use some common sense here. Yeah, let me let me go ahead. What's your last name? It's uh. Did you get shot here in downtown or out southwest? Out at East End. I was around here during that time. I've been here for 22 years, so. And it happens. My partner got shot down in Dumas like that, standing out in front of his dad's house, talking to his dad. Crazy dude run down the street and they shot at him and hit my buddy right in the back. But there's a reason for everything. Just keep hanging in there. That's all you can do, right? Mr. Gregory, your is it your cousin is in here? Cedric Bell is your cousin. Yeah. He said that your brother's been using your name. Did you know that? I don't know. Your little brother? Yes, ma'am. If he doesn't present an ID, all he has to do is tell us your name, date of birth. Let me call my. The difference is now that when we run people like that, the picture comes up. Okay, that's it. So we can compare pictures. So your picture is coming up, but it's but your warrant is saying for no driver's license. And obviously, yeah, and obviously. What's your full name? Gear one, Gear six. Eric Gregory. Gear one. But just like he was saying, if they do stop your brother, right? And then he gives Gary or Eric? Gary. 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 If they do know, if he does know your date of birth. You don't think he would do nothing like that? How would your brother? Would he do something like that? You might want to have that conversation. You might want to hit him up. Yeah, you might want to have that conversation. Have you always been in a wheelchair or did this just happen recently? You know, you can call down state police to driver control, and, and you can have them put like a little flash on your name that says uh, your brother has been possibly using your name. That way, when, he, when we run into your brother and he gives your name and we run him, then it comes up saying, hey, my brother's using my name. I ain't know that. I ain't know that. And you're usually the last one to find out, too. Back over there. Back over there. 
We got a right to Okay, no you don't. You got a right to go over there because you're in the middle of my traffic stop. If you want to impede, if you want to impede, you, want to impede, you will you will go to jail. I'm not playing. Go back over to that side, please. I'm telling you one more time to go back on that side. You are obstructing justice. Go back over there where you are at. You can do whatever you want to over there. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. I don't have time for this, sir. I've asked you several times to leave my traffic stop. You got anything on you that's going to hurt or stick me? You have ID on you today? Do you have ID on me today? Is that a yes or a no? You put it in my right to remain silent. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. I'm putting all your stuff back in your pocket. Forty-three. You start another unit to our location. Everything's ten four. Jeff, I got another. Yes. I got another unit coming. Yes. Right. Yes. I'm not being arrested. Yes, you are. I'm not being arrested. For obstruction. <laughs> Anything you can get us in your shirt pocket, dude. Hey, that one's empty, Jeff. How do you say your last name? Serving my right to remain silent. That's fine. That's fine. So any more questions will be on law. Just like that. No, no, no. You can you can refuse to answer my questions, but I can ask them. No, that's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. Right. No, I don't. You, you have the right to remain silent. That means you don't. You have the right not to answer my question. But it doesn't mean I don't have the right to ask you. I'm going to need you to remain off your phone, please. Seatbelt on. Yeah. Knife and commerce. Knife and commerce. Huh? What? No. Have any other form of identification other than this? Saving my right to remain silent. Okay, if you refuse to tell me who you are, that's another charge. I refuse to tell you mm -hmm. who I am. Uh, that's me. Are you John W. Walker? My name is Omar Okay, what is your date of birth? My date of birth is 91487. Thank you, sir. Spelling. 
King Union, Sam Henry Union, King Union, Robert Union. First name spelling, Ocean Mary, Adam Victor, Ida, black male, 91487. ALT. Is that good? It is now, but this is, this is going to be. We're on the traffic stop. No tags. We'll go up and make contact. Driver, passenger, both have warrants. Driver's put in the back seat. Passenger is paralyzed from the waist down in a wheelchair. I'm trying to work it out, but his warrant decided so he can go. He had a doctor's appointment. Uh, he rescheduled his appointment, but we were still working with him to try and get him to where he needed to be. Called the driver's sister to come get the car so we wouldn't have to tell it. While all this is going on, the gentleman that's being placed in the car comes up, stands over by the rock, and starts filming us. No big deal. Jeff goes over and talks to him. Dude's agitated. So I'll, Jeff walks away. I go back over and talk to him. I, I said, I said, sir, is there something about this traffic stop that you'd like to know? Because I can explain to you exactly what you see here. Again, he's agitated about cops and what's going on in today's world. So I try to explain to him why we stopped the guy, why, why he is where he is while we're doing this he's obviously not going to depend on how he feels or, so we're like fine you have the rights over and he'll take all you want so we go back to doing our traffic stop which is waiting on what we're going to do with him while we're doing that this gentleman in the back of my car walks up walks over there to him they both come across into our traffic stop I tell him sir go back over there where you're at and come over here on my traffic stop they go guard right up in the traffic investigation going. He wouldn't do it, so he's a, he was placed under arrest for destruction. He was placed under arrest for destruction. Good, good. And that's where we're standing. We ain't going to put up in no nonsense. I gave him four chances. I said, you can go back over there and videotape all you want to on that side of the road. Yep. But you're not coming over here in the middle of my traffic stop. Well, I was downtown. I heard it. I thought, eh, something's going on. So, you know, when I show up, I bring a big stick. <laughs> Tim Boy, do you have an address on that? Hadn't yet. Hey, what's that guy's name? What's that guy's name? What's that guy's name? This guy? Yeah. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Yeah. He did. He's here right now. Stop the car for no tags. He's got a warrant. Put him in the car. He's got a warrant, but he's paralyzed. On our way to a doctor. So we're like, hey, let's see if we can sign you out on the warrant so you can get where you need to be. We're waiting on that to happen. The gentleman in the car. Is over here filming us. Yeah, he's over here filming us. Yeah, he's waiting on that to happen. The gentleman in Jeff's car is over here videotaping us the whole time. No, he's yeah. videotaping all he wants. Jeff goes over and talks to him. The guy's agitated at the world and cops him. Jeff comes back over. I go over and talk to him very politely and say, you know, is there something I can tell you about what's going on here? And uh, so he uh, he starts in again about how cops are evil and whatnot. Since, uh, since he, uh, since he, uh, since he, uh, we got everybody level yeah. him too. So they won't let you sign him? No. Okay. So anyway, during this, we leave him alone, we come back over here and, and try and get him home. And that gentleman, plus this gentleman that walked up, decided they'd come over here and bogart right in the middle of our traffic stop. After several attempts to have them move back, they refused. Now they're going to jail for the All right. I guess we got a full house. Yeah. Who need help He's going to have to go. Okay. Apparently they won't let us tie him out. So, but SUV. probably what's happening with him is his brother's using his, right, his name right. and stuff. Got a traffic ticket under his name, and now they're looking at him for not coming to court. So he's going to have to go to court and talk to the judge about it. Well, they're probably more likely to cite him again, though. They're going to cite him out, yeah. But you guys got an SUV. Who you want him at? I have to transport mine. Jeff has to transport his. 
that one that we, we got three. We can so we got probably is this one. Pop this one. We can put saying? him in a car and put. Let, well, is this well, I got a Dodge. I was just saying for comfort. The older guy, and now you definitely want him in the SUV because of the wheelchair. Well, we can put him in your car, but we can put the wheelchair in one of the SUVs. Let's just add up more. I don't have anybody. In my Everybody's got to go. Oh, okay. yeah, there's going to be there's four people. Again. Oh, there's four people. I didn't know. I thought it was just two. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, we can do that then yeah. if you want. The sad part is, is all this because they want to play television in Texas. <laughs> hey, he, Sanders is going to transport him, but we'll carry his wheelchair in one of the SUVs because it won't fit in the car. If y'all are 10-4, Do you think you, do you think your brother's using your name? Do you think that's what it is? I mean, unless you've got a ticket, that'd be the only other answer I could come up with. Or somebody else is using your name. Was there a gen uh, number generated for four? I'm Officer Roberts. Mm -hmm. Jason Roberts, hey, Officer Jason Roberts. Six two Glenn. 